Poor habits lead to poverty, vice versa. It is the attitude and behavior of poor people that make them poor. It often looks as though there is an injustice that keeps the poor where they are while the rich keep prospering. The system really is not rigged. You can become whoever you want to be. Becoming is a transformational thing. You can't become simply by doing just one thing. It involves doing a series of things over some time and being intentional about your growth. It can entail having more clear-cut goals instead of aiming simply to be rich. One may, for example, decide to make $100,000 before the year runs out, even if they don't have jobs yet. They can start thinking creatively about how to accomplish their goals. Poverty is really not fun. Absolutely no one wants to be poor. It is not even an aspiration. It kind of just happens. We ultimately decide. Unlike poverty, riches seldom just happen. With the exception of people from rich backgrounds and people fortunate to inherit a fortune, most rich people become rich. They didn't do it by chance. In today's video, I'm going to share with you 5 habits that will guarantee you will stay poor. Number 1. Procrastination Many of you know him already. He steals time away from productivity. You will not accomplish anything or even become anything in life if you hang out with this guy a lot. His worst enemy is discipline. Discipline doesn't abide by his company. No wonder he hates him so much. You cannot procrastinate your way into success. It just never happens. You are either doing something meaningful or you are not doing something meaningful. Saying you are planning to do it also means that you are not doing it. Fun fact, planning is actually part of work. But then, procrastinators don't plan. They plan to plan in their head but never come around to doing it. It can kill your ambition and even make you doubt yourself. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you worked on all the great ideas you came up with? Would you be more fulfilled? You will always wonder about things if you don't follow things through. Riches demand hard work. If you have a habit of procrastinating, you will never do what can make you rich. Even if you were explicitly told what it was, you need to research problems and create value to become rich. This also means that people will have to rely on your ability to deliver on your brand promise. How can you deliver if you never get around to working on the idea? 2. Gambling You will not win your way to riches as certainly as you will if you put your focus on working hard and solving problems. When you put your faith on a chance to make you rich, you will seldom end up with nothing as is often the case. Casinos are not reaped. They simply have a lot of odds that make the establishment profitable while keeping you a fervent customers. It is all business. Gambling does not have a strategy. You cannot invent a method that ensures you always win. It is not a sustainable source of income. Again, it can be highly addictive. If you start, it is difficult to stop. You may even get loans because you believe you can win them back. It is also far worse when you have won once. Letting go of the idea that you can win again is quite difficult. Rich people know that money is far more valuable and than found. They do not rely on luck or the odds of a gambling machine to build their wealth. They also do not have notions of getting rich quick. They are ready to work hard at their dreams, build value over time and thrive. They are in need for the long haul. Poor people don't think that way. They want to enjoy the luxuries of now. They are, therefore, driven to act in ways that suit their lifestyle. They don't want to take the train. They want to drive. They want to live like Elon Musk, but without the experiences and lessons that help him both make and keep his fortune. Poor people are truly their own problem. 3. Drinking too much alcohol Alcohol is actually pleasant when you have an occasional glass. In fact, according to American Mayo Clinic, moderate alcohol intake can increase the risk of developing and dying of heart disease and possibly reduce your risk of diabetes. A lot of emphasis on moderate. People who are alcoholics take far more than a moderate amount of alcohol. A drunk can quaff a carton of beers and still stay lucid. The trouble with drinking is that when you drink a lot, you will tend to oversleep. You may also become forgetful. If you become so addicted, you may not be able to fully start the day without whiskey. People who drink a lot are usually primarily focused on using their income to buy drinks. They can't get enough of it. 
This means no savings. This also means lots and lots of unproductive hours. If you want a scholarship or got hired by Goldman Sachs and you want to celebrate, that would be a different story. But going to have drinks every day is not likely the path of greatness. Rich people have very efficient saving habits. Drinking without reason is a time and money luxury. Many of them cannot afford it. They understand that not only money is involved. Spending three years in a row drinking bottles and bottles every evening will accomplish only regrets and more bottles. If you want to be rich, abandon your excessive drinking habits today. 4. Having no goals A man with no goals is like a man with no plan. Rich people are focused and have their goals categorized and planned out with action plans and accountability system. People who don't plan seldom have much to aspire to. They don't have any drive to accomplish anything and often end up unhappy. There is no accidental rich person. Even those who inherited fortunes were planned by their benefactors. People who do not plan have no strategy to accomplish their dream. Dreams are like wishes without targets. If you decide to climb a mountain, determine for yourself how far you want to go and for how long. Something as simple as this can give your actions more meaning and help you gauge your progress. If there's no target, there's no way to measure progress. Poor people are not intentional about their growth. They do not even know the correlation between their growth and wealth. All they want to do is find a job and earn money. This is a terrible mental blueprint. It can make you a slave to money instead of the other way around. Start small. It doesn't matter what your first target is and what milestones you have to reach to get there. What matters is your willingness to begin. 5. Spending without planning This one is the worst habit of poor people. They focus on what the money they have can get them rather than how it can be maximized. A poor person may buy a Gucci bag within the week and regret it towards the ending of the month. Poor people borrow to pay their rent all the time. They may also take a loan to pay for Netflix subscription, but may think paying $50 for a course on their area of interest is expensive. They value things that ultimately have little value and they seldom think of creating sustainable ways of getting income. Having a budget can help you cut down on unnecessary expenses and save. You may not always have all the money you need at a particular point in time, but if you manage your finances properly, you would at least be able to do the things you need at every given time. According to CNBC, one in five Americans spend more time planning their vacation than managing their finances. According to the US bank, only 41% of American households follow a budget. You will always have something else you can spend your money on as long as you are alive. You really need to cut down on your expenses so you can afford important things. Did you take college loans as an undergraduate? How is paying back working out? Do you want your children to have a similar experience? If no, then why not organize your finances in such a way that enables you to spend on what can empower you and help you on your journey to financial freedom? You need to think about your future and where you want to be. Continuing bad habits will only hinder your progress. There's so much to learn already. To get started, let go of your past experiences and ideals. None of them has made you rich. Seek new knowledge and ask people who are where you want to be how they did it.